Please rise and join in singing number 175, Jesus is Risen, number 175. Jesus is risen, let us sing praise to the ever-living King. Alleluia, alleluia. Praise Him in song, ye seraphim. Praise Him with joy, ye cherubim. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This, this is, is the, the day, day the, Lord the Lord has, has made. made. Let us rejoice, rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is not what of what is what not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. 
Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The prince of life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, victor king, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. sacrifice. Let us feast with love in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloths that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise My dear brothers and sisters, Happy Easter! Oh, it sounds like you're still a Good Friday. <laughs> so, again, Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Okay, very good. So there's a story about who attended a great party, a man who attended a great party, and he enjoyed a lot, and he had too much to drink. And so he wanted to get home quickly and go to bed. But the only way to do this was to take a shortcut, and that is the road that passes through the cemetery by walking. But the place was dark, and what happened is that he fell in a freshly dug grave. And the pit was so deep that he had no way of getting out. So he cried out for help, but to no avail. And finally, convinced of the futility of, of his efforts, he just sat down in a corner of the dark pit to get some sleep as he waited for daylight. But after a short while, another drunken man took the same road. And as expected, he also fell into the same pit. And he jumped and shouted for help, and he didn't know that somebody else was with him down there. So the first guy was awakened by the noise of this terrified second man, second drunken man. So he tried to calm him down. He touched the leg of the second man with his very cold hands. And with a deep voice, he said, relax, man, you cannot get out of here tonight. And in an instant, the poor guy was able to jump out of the pit. And that is called adrenaline rush. 
My dear friends, what happened on Easter Sunday morning? Jesus is out of the grave. The tomb was empty. We just heard from the gospel, the tomb was found out to be empty. And he did not just jump out of the tomb out of extreme fear and panic, but he has risen from the dead. The Lord is risen from the dead. Last Friday, Father Peter reminded us of how they brutally slaughtered our Lord Jesus Christ, who bore our sin. In the words of prophet Isaiah, he was pierced from our, for our offenses. He was crushed for our sins. He was nailed and died on the cross. And after they had taken him down from the cross, they laid him on the tomb. But what happened? After he, he went to the Sheol, the place of the dead on Black Saturday, what happened from there? From there, our Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead on Easter Sunday morning, destroying forever the kingdom of sin and death. And last night, my dear friends, we had a very beautiful liturgy presided over by Father Thomas, which started with the church being filled with darkness as in a tomb, and Christ the light enters the church and is proclaimed as the light. From that light, we lighted our candles and we are bathed in the beautiful light of Christ as a sign of Christ's victory over sin and death. The tomb could not contain him, for he is not dead. He is alive forever, for he is God. He has conquered death and won victory for us. Victory presupposes war or battle. Jesus went into a battle, and he won. He fought against violence. He did not resist when he was led to the cross. He used the weapon of nonviolence and forgiveness. He won. He fought against pride and arrogance. He used the power of humility and meekness, and he won. He fought against lies and deception. He just said the truth, for he himself is the truth, and he won. He fought against death. He died, but he rose again. He won. We are now in the middle of a terrible war. We are fighting a great spiritual battle. The enemies of God and of the church are for real, and they are serious. Like Jesus, who was attacked not only by outside enemies, but also those who are closest to him, betrayed by Judas and abandoned by other disciples, so also the church is attacked from without and also from within. So there is war. The enemy seems to be winning, and the worsening economic crisis, the ever-growing threats of terrorism, violence, war the rapid spread of immorality, and all the negative things happening around us. All these are telling us that we may be losing in this battle. These are the reasons that many of us still continue to feel the pains and sorrow of Good Friday. But in the midst of all these, the joyful message of Easter rings clearly. Jesus is the winner. We are assured of victory. In Christ, we shall overcome. Saint Paul, in his letter to the Romans, proclaims the message of hope. He said, are you unaware that we who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised, raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in the newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we also be united with him in resurrection. Saint Paul is not talking about winning the world, talking totally eradicating poverty and injustice, or 
cleaning up the society from all the bad elements, overcoming all problems in the world. No, instead, he is talking about joining Jesus in his death through our baptism so that we may rise with him in his resurrection so that we too might live in newness of life. So it is a personal battle and personal victory that is trying to tell us. And in a little while, we will renew our baptismal promises because it was in baptism that we joined Jesus' death and rise with him in his resurrection. A wise man said, shared this learning experience. He said, when I was young, I wanted to change the world. And after some time, I realized that I could not change the world. So when I grew older, I tried to change the people around me. And again, I realized I have no power to change other people either. Now that I have, I'm very old, I decided to give a trying to change the world and other people. Instead, I will strive to change myself. We cannot change the world. We have very little capacity to change the hardened hearts and minds of evil people and those who hate us. But definitely, we have the power to change ourselves. And through Jesus, our victorious Lord, we have the assurance that we can win the war in our personal lives. Then our personal victories taken together with all others will mean the conversion of many hearts that will gradually usher in the dawn of justice and peace in the world. That instead of cursing the darkness of sin and evil in the world and prolonging the grief and anguish of Good Friday, let us struggle to rise up and begin our earnest campaign to convert and conquer ourselves and become beacons of light and hope in this world. And indeed, the resurrection of Jesus always gives us the reason to hope and to rejoice in our personal victory as children of God. Amen. Happy Easter. Please rise. In lieu of the creed, we now renew our baptismal promises. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him to newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all of his works and all of his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen.
and a new heart, a heart of flesh and feeling, I will place within you for your heart of stone. Flow, river, flow, flow over me. Brothers and sisters, we now make our petitions to the Lord. Our response will be, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, that the risen Christ may strengthen all her leaders and members, shining through them during this Easter season, we pray to the Lord. For all government leaders, that the Holy Spirit inspire them to enact policies promoting justice, peace, and prosperity for all, we pray to the Lord. For those struggling with despair or grief, that the consolation of the risen Lord come upon them to grant hope and peace, we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our For our newly baptized and confirmed Catholics, that by the graces bestowed in these sacraments, they become powerful witnesses of the risen Lord in the world, we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our for the people of St. Joseph's Parish, that we may come to have a deeper understanding of our faith as we continue to reflect on what happened during the Easter octave, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, in body, mind, or spirit, especially Bruce Atwater and Frank Ganna, that they experience the healing of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially remembering John F. Murray and Donald T. Grady, that their hope in eternal life be fulfilled, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the intentions in our book of prayer and those we now offer in silence. And in a special way, we pray for those named in our Easter Mass remembrances for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. O God, grant these our prayers we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now take up our collections. Our ushers will come down the aisles with baskets in which you may place your offering. The ushers will pass twice once for the regular weekly collection that supports the general operating needs of our parish, and an additional time to take up the second collection, which are special Easter gifts to the parish. Those joining us remotely, or for those who cannot give at this time, you may support any of these collections via e-giving at www.stjokp.com slash donate. We thank all our parishioners and parish friends, whether here in person or joining via live stream for your continued financial support of St. Joseph's. Please join in singing our offertory hymn number 167, Alleluia, Let the Holy Anthem Rise, number 167. Like the sun from out the wave, he has.
has risen up in triumph from the darkness of the grave. He's the splendor of the nations. He's the lamp of endless day. He's the very Lord of glory who is risen up today. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exalt and with a paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer this sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to us. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that you become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity towards Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, and our patron saint, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For our brothers and sisters who wish to receive communion but cannot at this moment, we pray and act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body. Of Please Christ. join in singing our communion hymn number three hundred and twenty nine, Gift of Finest Wheat, number three hundred and twenty nine. You 
Give yourself to us, O Lord, then selfless let us be to serve each other in your name, in truth and charity. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia. Qui aque mero isti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. O Queen of Heaven, be joyful, Alleluia. For he whom you have humbly borne for us, Alleluia, has arisen as he promised, Alleluia. Offer now our prayer to God, Alleluia. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may He who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of His only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Please join in singing our closing hymn number 571, Festival <coughs> Canticle, Worthy is Christ, number 571. victory for our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Worthy is Christ the Lamb who was slain, whose blood set us free to be people of God. This is the feast of victory Lord. 